today we're down at Toronto's Lakeshore to show you how to use the Easy Tag with a DSLR as well as with a point and shoot camera. To start, we're going to connect the Easy. We're going to turn the Easy Tag to the All position and connect it to the camera. The light is going to blink green until it can find a GPS fix. On the camera, it's going to show GPS and keep blinking until it finds a fix. We're just going to take a few photos and then I'm going to show how sensitive the easy tag is by driving down the lakeshore and how to geotag photos taken with a regular point and shoot camera. Now that we've taken some photos with the DSLR and there's a GPS fix, I'm going to show you how to use the Easy Tag as a standalone device to geotag photos taken with a regular point and shoot camera. So I'm going to leave it on, put it in the trunk of the car, and drive down to another parking lot down on the lakeshore. I'm going to disconnect the easy tag, but I'm not going to turn it off. I'm going to leave it on and recording as we drive down. The easy tag is still on, the light is solid green, and it's still recording. So I've got an old Nikon S1. And to use the easy tag as a standalone device, make sure that the time on the camera is correct because it's going to use the time on the photos and match it with the log on the easy tag so I'm just gonna start taking a few photos as we drive down the lakeshore <laughs> So now that we've got to the other lot, here's some of the photos that we took along the way. And now we're going to use the track that the Easy Tag recorded and use that to geotag these photos. To geotag photos taken with the point and shoot camera, I'm going to download the photos. as well as the route the easy tag saved as we drove down the lakeshore.
if we open up these photos in iXIF, we'll see that there's no GPS data. The easy tag shows a single file, and we're going to open that up in LOCR for the people using Windows, or GPIC Sync for those using the Mac. So we click Add. Select the GPS track, click on it, and Google Maps will show the path. We started at Sunnyside Park on the lake, and then we drove east on the lakeshore while the Easy Tag was sitting in my camera bag in the trunk. all the way to Coronation Park. Now we're going to add all the photos taken with the regular point-and-shoot camera. LOCR will match the time of the photo with the position on the path. You click on the photos, you can see the red dot, which represents where the photo was taken. Now, click on automatic geotagging, and LOCR will copy all this information from the GPS track into the photos. Now, if we open up a file using iXIF, we will see that the GPS information has been filled in automatically. So that's how you use the Easy Tag with a DSLR to automatically geotag your photos. As well, you can use it with a regular point-and-shoot camera by using free software to automatically geotag photos based upon the recording of the path. Easy Tag is also sensitive enough that you can put it inside the trunk of a car and it will keep recording. For more videos and downloads, check out easytagger.ca.